Hi, welcome to Gen X Glam here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping in. If you're coming back, thank you for coming back. It's great to see everyone. I'm going to try and just power through this video because as usual, I'm in a pretty big hurry. I've gotten myself halfway ready for work. I'm dressed. I'm clean. I've got um, skincare down. I've done uh, one round of color correcting. I use my P. Louise um, shadow base because today... The star of the show is definitely going to be P. Louise. My subscription slash budget box for the month of April arrived. That's just the way it works. We're in May, but we're getting April. It's a super like travel, pack your stuff sort of themed um, budget box. I think it's I think it's one of the best ones I've ever gotten. It's definitely in the top three. It's it might be the best one. Came with this sort of little I want to call it. A, a passport because it, it outlines everything that's inside and I swear I didn't plan this top based on all of this yellow that's going on in the packaging here it is it's supposed to look like you know like a like a suitcase because it's travel theme um, so I'll quickly read through what we're gonna find inside the box and then we're gonna tear into it we're gonna use a little bit because like I said like my skin is prepped skincare is down. As much color correcting as I'm going to do is there. But before we tear into that box, I want to just make one more um, reminder to everyone that the current Gen X Glam giveaway, this um, Lips Superstar Kit from Shoppers Mart, a beauty exclusive, Shoppers Mart Beauty Exclusive, this is closing tomorrow on May 24th, Friday, TGIF. And um, I'm going to link the video because you need to go to the video and well, you need to subscribe to the channel. You need to make a comment in the video and then you can be in the entry. You have an entry in to win this fantastic Lip Superstar Kit. Um, this is open. This is a worldwide giveaway. So you just need a mailing address somewhere in the world where you've received mail. And uh, yeah, you can have a chance to win. All right, let's get into this. So this... Um, she gets a little bit um, excited in some of her in some of her packaging, like the colors. First of all, and some of some of the slogans are a little bit on the exciting side. So this one's ready, set, pack your stuff. We'll say and go. So, um, gosh, the packaging. So most of the subscription slash budget boxes I've gotten from P. Louise have come in these lovely, like very sturdy, pink, oversized shoe box because it's more like square, rectangular, long, square. And they're great for repurposing stuff. And they've got mantras written all over them and they're pink and they're pretty and they're just, they're a lot of fun. But lately, like the March um, budget box came in a, in a tin shaped like an egg for Easter. And I guess she's gearing us up for summer with this um, with this sort of travel suitcase themed packaging. Jeanette, sub Jeanette, you've already opened this. Um, so you, you need to share somewhere in a comment wh what you've been using. All right, let's get into this. So we've got a, um, not surprised she's given a lip oil, a formula you all know and love remained with a touch of tingles. So that's got to be one of her lip oils here. Um, they're shaped like a crown. I could pull one out, but I can't reach it right now. I've put on some Laneige um, lip mask just because I know, as I did my skincare, but I know I peeked at this. I didn't open the box, but I did peek at the um, passport brochure, and I saw that there's going to be a primer, there's going to be lip oils, there's going to be a face palette that's powder and cream. Speaking of creamy um, bronzers and blushes, P. Louise tomorrow is dropping a new line of creamy bronzers. I don't know. I'm going to check them out. Um, and I finally got my, my hands on some of these new NYX drops. This is the Butter Melt Blush. It's in the shade Butter with Time. And then I've got a couple of the bronzers. Shout out to my friends, and you know who you are, who picked up a few of these. I bought one locally, and they're like so much more money than what um, my friend paid at Ulta. These are just, they got these under the $10 price point. I don't know if we're going to use them today. I think I'm going to do a full face of NYX this weekend when I have some time. But I just want to quickly say, like, this is what the inside looks like. 
This is very heavy plastic. A couple of colleagues that we've like swatched together and talked about this, we all agree like the formula is pretty fun. Um, but should there have been a mirror here? or a sticker or something like I think in Nick's haste to get these things under the $10 price point in packaging it's a miss for me again on the packaging like it reminds me I'm reaching over to get you know when I did a video comparing the elf um lip balm pens compared to the NYX I just I don't know this packaging the bottom of every single one of them is this neon color I don't know. I thought that they missed the mark on the packaging for those pens, and I feel like they've missed the mark here. There's nothing special about this cover. It could have been clear, and it would have been a lot lighter weight plastic, but I don't want to take up too much time in this video with the new NYX drop, but I do want to use those. We'll get into a NYX face this weekend. All right, so what, whoops, I don't know if I turn it right side up. What else do we have? They're introducing their first soft mattifying setting, setting spray, which I'm excited to try. Um, a gel textured primer to keep your look locked in for longer. Excited to try that. Perfect pout partner. So you're, we're going to see um, a lip a lip palette, which looks like it has six different colors. That's crazy. Um, oh, their first ever P. Louise mascara. In honor of that, I did curl my lashes. I got a new, I did, I got a restock from e.l.f. yesterday. And one of the things I threw in there was this more heavy duty eyelash curler. So I need to get a little bit more into that. Maybe that will help in my um, deficit of, you know, eye mascara application or it'll I'll just find that more formulas work better with my lashes if I curl them if I take the time to curl them more so that's one of my new glam station re resolutions and lastly for your our, okay so there's our very first face palette they're saying so you have two pans of shimmering baked highlighter two pans of peach toned powder blush two pans of rich I like that peach toned powder brush two pans of rich cream blusher and two pans of buttery powder bronzer making this the palette the ultimate grab and go all conveniently inside one sublime palette and so let's just tear into this thing it's so exciting i might have to rehydrate my face with that spray when we get it out um so here it is here's the packaging um it's bigger than me it's bigger than me all right, I think this just lifts out. Yeah, okay. it just lifts out. And then we're going to have some, I'm going to have a lot of space on my glam station. And I'm afraid this is just going to go, oh, wait, wait, wait. We need our tools. We need our tools. We've got a cut here. Let's just carefully cut in. I'm still waiting for a few things to come in the mail. I did buy the new e.l.f. drop, the new um, brow gel. And it's supposed to come with some really cool applicator that's got like a dual end brush to, you know, for, for brow gel and setting and shaping, give you that laminated look. So um, excited for that. All right, I'm going to try and spin this around. I think I opened it upside down. Jeanette, were you more successful in getting into this thing? This is going to be all the lip oils. This is the setting spray. This is the primer. Um, this is the mascara. This is definitely going to be the lip palette. Wow. Well, six, three, no, it was three, six, nine lip colors. And then the all over face palette as usual, impeccably packaged. And that out X packaging that I just showed you the colorful. Wow. Look at all this yellow theme. I swear I didn't plan this. Um, it came in another box and then that box was wrapped in a plastic, so nothing got wet. I mean, you can't beat the packaging. It takes a, it's it, it takes a minute to get here um, from from the UK, but it is definitely worth the wait, especially one like this where it's this is an epic. This this power this, ooh, I think it's valued. This whole thing is valued at 112 pounds. Whoa! Whoops! What did I do? I gotta. How did I, oops, I got to get to the spray in this thing somehow. I just get so excited. All right, but honestly, before I do that, I need to get a little bit of something down 
for a base and my face did kind of um the the skincare is solid i used charlotte tilbury magic cream today knowing that we were going to use some other makeup so this this should this should be this should hold let's get it i'm going to use this milk my milk dripping and just let that sit for a moment um if i was smart i would have I wanted to get first impressions with you guys, so I didn't like bust into this, but it is so hard to get my little fingers inside this packaging and get this stuff out. Let's look at the face palette. So here we go. We've seen her palettes before that look like this. I've used them, but the difference is we're going to have some creams in here. So here's your highlighters. These are the powders. And these four, these four at the end, those are look to me like they've got some creamy cream to them. Here is the mascara. Let's just look at this wand. I'm always in a rush. I always leave the mascara for the end. And I don't know what time it is. Alexa, what time is it? It's 7.29 a.m. Not doing bad. All right. Wow. This is, oh, wow. It is a comb, which is what I love. Oh, man. It's not... This is hefty. It feels like, it feels not flimsy at all. You hear that? This is really nice. Tear proof, tear proof. Oh, it's tear proof. Here is the get a grip. Oh dear. <laughs> I should, I didn't want to get into this. I really did want to have first impressions, but this is not the morning for me to be sitting here picking through plastic. Um, but here we are. That wasn't too bad. Let's get maybe we can let's get a little bit of the primer on. Okay, why does my face feel like it still needs something? Because I held off on putting um any sort of primer or you know sort of a last or double a double. Sorry, don't judge me. This isn't a nightmare. I've done that before. Oh wow, it is. Woo wee! It's just it's it's jolly. All right, let's see how we go because I'm not usually a big fan of the jelly stuff, but it's a, this is supposed to be hydrating. It's not sticky. It has a scent, which most of P. Louise's stuff, oh, this feels actually very nice. It's going, it's laying really well on top of that um, magic cream. Most of her stuff does have a scent, um, but this is, it's pretty benign. There's not much going on. This is not that sticky. I actually do feel pretty hydrated, but I, I, I also feel like this has like a grip. It has a grip, but it's not super sticky. This is really nice. So this is a gel primer. Let me get right in. I'm going to use a little bit of my Clarins concealer and I'm just going to do some, oh, got to give it a good squeeze. It's getting there. It's getting there. You got to use this stuff, right? It's like use or lose. If you don't use it, it's going to lose its, uh, its tenacity and it's, you know, it's going to not do its job anymore. So I'm really trying, like, actually, this is something I am, I have this like little, I don't know what you want to call it, initiative going on at my glam station and in my shower. I am just trying to use, I'm, I'm keeping an eye out for stuff products that are skincare, makeup, um, body wash, hair, everything like that category that is getting close to finish. Because what I tend to do, and I guess this would definitely fall in some sort of hoarder category, when I especially favorite things, like I'm, I just don't want them to be finished. I do this with books sometimes too. I'll slow roll those last couple of chapters just because I'm like, I don't want the book to finish. Um, but no, I have this little initiative going on here at my glam station, shower, etc., where I am getting rid of things that have like, you know, this much left in them because I want to, I want to, um, open up something new or just feel like, yes, I got through that. There was no haste and waste going on. It was a win. So, um, so, so this falls in that category. This is getting there. This Clarins concealer. I like it a lot. It's called, what are they calling it? Instant concealer. Not super original. I feel like the shade isn't that far off. It gives me like just a nice, nice base. I also pulled out 
Um, well, this I was using yesterday. That's my e.l.f. I pulled out my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood um, Flawless Filter because I have been using the e.l.f. And so I'm like, again, I'm trying to even it out. I'm trying to use a little bit of everything every day so that I can get through this stuff and feel like I gave it, you know, the old college try. So what else is going on out there? I feel like um, this video definitely should have been done over the weekend so that we could have had more time to sort of enjoy these P. Louise products. And I'm just going to slap on and say, <laughs> gotta go. Or are the fans going to leave me behind? No, they've never actually left me. Although they have, <laughs> they have pulled out of the driveway and down the road a tad bit to like make me think like they left me. But I know they wouldn't leave me, right? I'm never more than five minutes off schedule. And we're never even close to being late for our destinations. We just like to get a, late, uh, a head start because honestly, like the traffic is, can be a bit of a bear. Um, as we all know, in this commuting world, unless... Unless folks are still working from home, um, I am not on any sort of regular basis. So I'm, you know, back to getting myself together. Thankfully, though, I get to hang out with you guys when I get myself together some days of the week when I manage to get up early and have a few extra minutes here at the station. Let's open this. Is, wow, this is a very generous lip palette. I did pull out a brush, but I've, I'm going to go with, uh, let's just get in there and get the lips done. Um, let's see how this, these kind of formulas, like, I love, these are my tones. These are my tones. I love, um, I love that she did. I'm just doing a bunch of them. I love that she's got, you know, the neutral earthy stuff going on in here. I'm never actually sure how to apply these kind of lip products they're going on really smooth like almost I don't want to use the word melting on my lips because that's just a little bit over exaggerated but they are going on so smooth it is almost like like melting the question is what's the staying power power because I'm not going to bring this to work with me but I just dipped a couple of different colors and you guys get like an idea. Jeanette, have you been working with these things? Has anybody else gotten this subscription box and been working with these? I would be inquiring minds want to know. All right, let's go in with the quickly with the face palette. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my hands and get a little bit of that. Ooh, wow, that picked up really nice. Let's get the brush out. Let's get the brush out. My elf putty brush never lets me down. That, um, it's not, wow, it's not super creamy. It's, it's, it's a lot like the formula that's going on in these NYX buttermelt blushes. It's like, you, you think like, it's like this powder to cream formula. It's the thing. I'm very curious what's going to happen with her. She's saying she's coming out with these creamy bronzers i'm super super curious what those are gonna what those are gonna be like it's hard to tell from just like looking at the pictures online and i don't have any i don't have any reordering going on from p louise i might just hold out and wait for one of those things to show up in a budget box because inevitably it will i have my hands full of um of creamy bronzers right now, but I'm going to follow with keen interest on how those go, how that drop goes. Um, I'm not necessarily sure. I guess I could go in with this. Is, um, I'll go in with this. This is one of the creamy, creamy blushes. This, it's, this is just really fun. Like, honestly, this is enough for me to play with. I'm not going to run out and get the um, new creamy creamy bronzers that she's going to drop. Although the packaging, as usual, looks like really fun and amazing. I think that she'll do well with them. I do. I think, especially over there in the UK, I mean, that's where her base is, right? I mean, sure, some of us are ordering this stuff in the US and Canada, 
but I bet she makes a killing over there in the, in the homeland in the UK. I'm not going to go in with the, with the, well, let's test out the highlighter. She said that it's like a peachy tone powder. This, I don't know about, well, yeah, that's definitely peach. I'm being, I'm feeling a little, what am I, colorblind today? All right, let's pick up a little bit of the powder. Got to go on up here. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> That was a lot. I didn't mean to pick up that much, guys. This is um, definitely falling in my category of clown face. I need to get in here and I need to smooth out these edges. Look at that. That's not too bad. I think I have to like just like equally distribute the color and get that mono, mono look. Get a little bit on my lids because I did prime my lids. I was ready to go. I primed my lids with the Rumor Base P. Louise eyeshadow primer in honor of opening up this a box. Yep, I'm definitely getting that mono chromatic look that I love to get. Just a little bit of flush of color. Oh, we were gonna give the we're gonna give the highlighters a try. I already know I like her highlighters. I mean, in a little bit usually will do you. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Shine bright like a diamond, I tell you. I tell you, I'm shining bright like a diamond today. I feel this is one of those days where I feel like we're going in slow motion. Hey, I'm sorry if I'm just not picking up the pace this morning, but as usual, I got a lot going on. A lot of competing interests. But I'm, I'm here. I made it to my glam station. Let's see. There. <laughs> Here's how we do that. Okay. Mattifying. Oh, it's a very... Oh, it's a nice, pleasant scent. Oh, so nice. And it's such a fine mist. That's really nice. I like it a lot. Let's go in with this mascara. I love these thin combs. I feel like I just got like an instant glow. Maybe it's just the highlighter. I really do need to smooth out these edges. I'm going to keep working. I'm going to use a little bit of setting powder when I turn this, um, when I leave you guys and I sit here and I try to, um, I feel like I'm glistening when I try to finish off my face and then run out the door. I'm looking for my mirror, but I can't find it. So I'm just going to carefully oh this is nice i love these i love these comb comb applicators on mascara so much more than like the big bushy ones right like i don't even know if i have one close by that i can that i can use as a you know what i'm talking about this is a comb this is fine tooth comb it's got several different sides to it so you can just really like keep spinning and turning i'm impressed with this and you know i don't i'm not usually impressed with many mascaras but at least they got the applicator that i personally prefer i need to i need to fix this a little bit more and i really like this packaging it's so i feel like there's something to it i don't know maybe it's maybe it's recyclable material i have to get going but um I, I enjoyed hanging out, even if it was a little bit, you know, too off the cuff. I got some color. I've got some shine. I'm going to go back into some places here on my face. And I'm probably going to do a little bit more color correcting. For me, that's like, if I get my skincare down, I do a decent job color correcting my red spots and my, you know, places that need brightening and, and, and discolorations evened out. I'm, I'm pretty happy. I consider it a win at the glam station. And then when I get a little bit of color and it's not too overpowering, like clown face, I consider that another win. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're well. Again, I'm going to link the video to the, and I have to do something with my hair. Um, I'm going to link the video to the current Gen X glam giveaway. Go check it out. And I will see you wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Crush it. I'll see you in the next video.